This video is to support you working at home with your child and Google Classroom. When you land in Google Classroom, the landing spot is the stream. There may be shortcuts to homework listed here, but most of the work is going to live inside of the Classwork tab. So let's click on Classwork and focus in on the reading questions for this week. I know these are questions because there's a question mark in the icon. When I click on the question that is listed here, what was the best book you read this week? I see the description underneath and view question as an option. I need to click on that to be able to answer the question itself. A new window will appear and inside that window, there is a spot to answer my short answer question up here. Again, this is a short answer question, not expected to be very lengthy, so a sentence or two. When I've completed answering my question, I can click the turn in button. A new window will appear confirming that I want to turn this in. Click the turn in. And we'll see now that we have another option. Instead of only my answer, which I can see here, I can also see classmates answers. I can click see classmates answers in this tab right below, or I can go up top and click the larger window. And in here, I can see what my classmates have answered. If the teacher has enabled responding to other students, you can also type in a reply to your classmates to see or reply to their response as well. I'm going to go back to our main classroom page and go back to classwork. There is still a question that needs to be answered, and that is how many books did I read this week? When I click on that, I can either answer the question right here as a multiple choice, or I could click view question. That's really not necessary for multiple choice questions. Click on your answer and click the turn in button. And again, it's going to ask you to confirm you would like to turn it in. Click turn in and you will see a graph of how you answered. And if the teacher has set it up, you can see what other students have answered as well. If you do not see this graph here for all the other students, that's because the teacher did not turn that on for you to see. 